Hey, hey, thanks for slithering in. I am Simbrin, and welcome back to my channel and to another speed build in The Sims 4. Is that a round wall? Well, yes, yes it is. I know, why did I do it to myself? But luckily, it's only a bit of a round wall and the rest of it is fine so it wasn't too tricky to play with because as you guys know round walls are tricky. So are platforms sometimes? What isn't tricky in The Sims 4? <laughs> at least in the build mode. Although the build mode from what, at least from what I remember from old Sims iteration build mode things, Sims 4 is the easiest. Um, and I know a lot of other simmers have made that comparison before too, so yeah, but we have round walls and we've had round walls for a while, so I don't even know why I'm telling you that. I just was like, let's just start off talking about that round wall. But more importantly, maybe we should talk about how this is a community lot build and not a residential build. Who is she? I feel like I've been saying that a lot lately. So sorry, um, but yeah, I did a community lot build. I don't do these very often. I had this, so okay, let me start over. When I sat down for this building session, I had a shell challenge bookmark that I wanted to do, um, but I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. Sometimes you're just like, yeah, this isn't, I don't know what I want to do with this. So I kind of like scrapped that and I'm probably going to miss the deadline. So hopefully I'll still be able to do it. I guess time will tell, but this build is brought to you again from another Pinterest build that our inspiration picture that I saw that I did not save. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I believe the version that I saw was like a residential but to me, this just spoke like pub, maybe a little medieval, I don't know, super, also super cozy. We're here in Henfern on Bagley. The season is set to fall, but it's pretty early in the fall, so it's not super fall. I guess it's not that early. You can see some red trees. But in general, Henfern on Bagley is pretty green. Uh, <laughs> there's that. But... How much more cozy is it than like a fall crisp evening and going to the pub or the tavern for something to warm your soul, you know? And maybe also some dancing because in the interior I put that dance mat from the horse ranch expansion pack. I don't, is it called a hoedown? I, I don't know what they call it in the game. Um, so, eek. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you do. So, but this actually came together really quick. This is the second build in a row where I actually started it and finished it. I did speak about that a little bit in my last video. So if you want to learn more about it, definitely check that out. Um, I'm recording this voiceover back to back after I recorded that last one. So I don't want to repeat myself. <laughs> um, at least I'm going to try not to. I hope I don't. Hopefully, since they're back to back, I can I can do this. I got this. But the shape of the build is pretty much all together. I mean, clearly it was pretty easy to finish this in one sitting. It's a small build. It's really got not much to it. Um, we do have one bathroom in here, so we got that going for our sims, but I don't know. It just looks super cozy and kind of magical. And yeah, here I am using the tool mod by Twisted Mexi. Um, if you're interested in checking out that mod or any of the other mods that I use, you can definitely check out the description down below because I have all those listed now. Uh, look at me. I'm a professional, <laughs> but yeah, I'm using that to kind of rotate these roof decor pieces from Cottage Living to match the roof. Now, they're not perfectly aligned, and normally I would be like, oh, I hate this. I'm going to delete them and just leave it. Like, I'm not even going to do this idea because sometimes I can be a bit of a perfectionist. I try not to be, 
but I thought that it fit pretty well for this build. Um, having something a little like off kilter like that, I should say. Here, I'm putting these like bark things around. Um, they're from one of the debug menus. I don't remember what pack. I end up getting rid of most of them. In the inspiration picture, they had a lot around the round piece window here. But I get rid of that. Uh, once I put the rest of the landscaping down, I was like, it looks too busy. I don't know. I wasn't feeling it. So, yeah. I like the idea, though. So maybe I'll bring that back for a future build one day. We shall see. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day, week, month. Uh, can you believe this year's almost over? Because I, I can't. But I, as at the time of recording, I'm getting ready to start some really spooky builds and start getting into the occults in The Sims 4, which I like to try and do a little bit usually each spooky season. I think last year I did at least one vampire house, but I want to do one for each occult, or at least like the werewolf, the vampire, the spellcasters. Uh, was there a fourth one? I don't think so. Definitely those three. Oh, maybe a haunted house too, because we got, you know, that with paranormal. I haven't done that in a while. So hopefully you guys are excited and hopefully you guys subscribe if you haven't so that you don't miss any of those videos in the future. Um, but yeah, landscaping is pretty much almost together. Now I am I left a lot of stuff in, didn't I? Because I'm looking for this flower bag from base game. Uh, it's a great like stone flower bed lining alternative. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, I got that trick from Kate Emerald. If you guys don't know who Kate Emerald is, uh, you're probably living under a rock because she is amazing. She is a simmer here on YouTube who does a lot of like big mansions and stuff. And I mean, I don't know how she does it. I cannot build big mansions like that. <laughs> I really cannot. Um, I don't have the patience or the time or the energy, at least at this point in my life, but she makes it look so flawless and every time I watch one of her videos, I'm like, I want to do that, but then I, I don't <laughs> because it's too scary. <laughs> I'm terrified, but if you guys don't know who she is, definitely go check her out. You will not regret it. But pretty soon we are going to get into the interior, which you guys saw me put together the layout a little bit already. I actually kept that on camera this time. So I have a question for you guys. We are waiting for more announcements from the Sims teams, right? We have one neighborly expansion pack coming to us before the end of the year, at least, right? So what do you guys think it is? I can't think of what it would be mostly because I feel like we had that like update a while ago with like the way the world like or the other households act like we got neighborhood updates I think is what it's called but now that I'm saying it out loud do we think it's like apartments apartments would be really cool especially if we can like build our own apartments even though I literally just said I can't build large builds but I <laughs> but I guess I just want the option to be able to build my own apartments at least like functional apartments but even just getting more apartments is would be really great because we only have two worlds with apartments and that's San Mai Shuno and uh, Evergreen Arbor so yeah I don't know let me know your predictions down in the comments below here we are on the interior so you already see the little dancing mat here and then i was trying to figure out if i can get that grill from dine out to work because i was like oh that would be really cool if you have like a full kitchen i did get this grill in though so that's there and then i got that bar back from the horse ranch kit not kit expansion pack wow um but yeah, I thought 
it'd be really cool because okay personally i love pub food i love the starch the carbs the grease the all of the above like i love a good juicy burger like a bacon cheeseburger is my jam that's usually my go-to when i go out to eat i'm like do they have a bacon cheeseburger nine times out of ten they do <laughs> but i don't know i really like this so we we do have a few tables but we also have a couple of couches and like sitting spots and i thought that'd be cool for like you know you have a group of friends <laughs> get it friends <laughs> Yeah, just like the show Friends, you know, you get a couch and some chairs and, you know, maybe that's like their spot or they're watching everyone dance and it's a good time. We have the piano there, so you can probably pretend that the piano player is like, you know, making the songs or playing the songs and then the other sims are dancing to it kind of thing. Um, I don't think that's altogether possible in the sims, but we can pretend. I feel like us simmers. We, are, we have very good imaginations. Otherwise, why would we be playing The Sims, right? Okay, because a lot of it is storytelling, it's building, it's creating Sims. So, you know, we are very imaginative people. And there's a lot of stuff we can't do in the game that we pretend we can do. You know, we make it work. We're smart people. Um, part of the reason why I like this community so much. But... I wanted to make sure there were tons of stuff on these walls because when I think of pubs and taverns and things, there are wall decor galore. Um, even some restaurants would like this vibe, like totally, right? Like I'm thinking like Buffalo Wild Wings, TGIF, um, a lot of those classic American chains, I guess. <laughs> so those things. You, you know, you've been to those places before. I hope maybe some of you, if not, I mean, you, you get the idea. It's here. Um, but we've got tables here. When you walk in, there's even like a couple of makeshift booths. I did not play test them, but I did like size down some chairs and squeeze them in the benches that you'll see in just a little bit. So there's like a 50% chance that it would work. I'd say I'd give it 50-50, but if not, there's plenty of seating here. Uh, this is a pretty tight space, so I wonder what would happen if there are just like too many sims on this lot. So that might be a problem, but hopefully it's not. Maybe, maybe you like that? I think there's mods for that. I think you can control that somehow, or maybe there's settings in the game. I, I don't know. I don't play it that much. But here are the booths that I was telling you about. I did size down those chairs and kind of squeeze them into those benches. Um, in this area, I put like the dine out host stand. Oh, I put a fan because I figured people are going to get sweaty in here from all that dancing. You know, and we're getting some lighting. Um, yeah, overall, I hope you guys enjoy this build though. Uh, we're not wrapping up. Uh, we've got a little more to do, but we're getting there. Uh, yeah. What else? Oh yeah, we got some more plants. So in this build, really the packs that really came in clutch were Cottage Living, Horse Ranch. There's a lot of artwork from cats and dogs going on. Dine Out, of course. Cot I think Did I say Cottage Living? I might have said cottage living again. Second voiceover of the day. Okay, I'm not used to it. We're gonna get better. Uh, hopefully we'll get better at that. Um, yeah, we're putting a chalkboard outside because you gotta draw people in, right? I did use those uh, horse ranch shutters as like in front of the door thinking maybe that's how they lock up. I don't know, I was, <laughs> I was trying to be creative. So I think I also kept the bathroom out of this one as well. I don't remember doing it or at least recording it. So that is on me, unless I actually did. We'll see in a little bit. But in this little corner here is another seating space. Um, I do put this karaoke machine, but I do end up squeezing it against the wall so that there's more room to walk around. But if your Sims want to use it, you can probably just, you know, pull it out a little bit. You would have to do some, uh, you know, maneuvering if you're 
Here on the lot with a sim, you would have to put in those cheats for enabling free build mode. So you may have to do that or you can hop into build mode from the map. But uh, one thing I wanted to tell you guys is I have a little game for you for in this tour video. There was one a couple of weeks ago where I was like, how many times can you spot Vlad? Uh, so go back and watch that. But, oh, I do keep the bathroom. Oh, look at me go. Cool. So you guys can watch that while I tell you the game. There is an item at the front of this build that does not belong on a community lot. It accidentally got there. So if you see it, let me know in the comments below what that item is. Can we play a little I Spy here? I used to love that game and Where's Waldo. Anyway, we are wrapping up with this build. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you do all the things. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, comment, and I will talk to you all in the next one. Bye!